uh, I would like to give the floor to uh, Dr. Federico Antilion Klusman, uh, the uh, co chair of Global Health Network of SIOP. Uh, and uh, please, can you share uh, how uh, your work, uh, what work you are doing on a global scale, and you are advancing the LMIC's uh, pediatric oncology for many years already? Good day to all. It's really an honor to be here at the Oncothon today to make a short summary of the history in Guatemala. In the 90s, we didn't have a hospital dedicated for the treatment of childhood and adolescents with cancer in Guatemala. So the survival rate at that time was less than 28% at three years from diagnosis. Abandonment from treatment was 60% and the public hospitals were only able to diagnose 100 kids with cancer. So with the help of Ayubi Foundation in Guatemala, the Ministry of Health, uh, several uh, private uh, companies in Guatemala, and what at the time was San Jude uh, International Outreach Program, now global, we were able to open the Unidad Nacional de Oncología Pediatrica, UNOP, in April of 2000. So since then, now we're diagnosing more than 500 kids and adolescents with cancer less than 18 years old. Treatment is for free for all the families. And we have been able to decrease the abandonment rate of uh, treatment to less than 2%. We have been able to increase the survival of kids to close to 67%. And uh, that's one of our main successes. Then back in 2003, we opened a pediatric hematology on college fellowship for the Central American region. And since then up to last year, we have been able to graduate more than uh, around 42 pediatric hematologists oncologists for mostly for Central America, but also from some countries for South America, Ecuador, Bolivia, for example. And due to this, uh, we have been able to double the number of pediatric oncologists in the region and double the number of kids being treated in Central America. Recently, we are happy to announce that our fellowship was accredited by ACGME International Chapter. So we are the first pediatric hematology and color fellowship to be accredited by ACMNG. That's uh, like a summary of this uh, beautiful uh, uh, trip that we have engaged in almost 25 years ago. Thank you very much for, for listening. Thank you so much and congratulations with, uh, with the accreditation. It's really an amazing uh, achievement. And uh, uh, I'm sure, I mean, I, this, this could be a role model for many other countries. Uh, 